So they bring mesh tracking to DaVinci Resolve 18. We're gonna go over it real quick in this little quick little video. On the color page in the effects tab, type in SU and you get surface tracking. You wanna drag and drop it on your node tree along the uh, line and it will actually automatically attach itself. From there, you just wanna mask out the part of the subject that you wanna track. When masking as a subject, I find it better to, I guess, over mask. You don't wanna directly just mask out the, the part of the subject that you want your image to appear in. You wanna you want to mask out more of the area uh from my experience a little bit more not the entire like her entire chest just about as big as i got right here and depending on your subject you want you might want to mask out the entire chest even though your logo or whatever you're gonna put is only gonna be in the center once you're done gonna go over to track click i'm actually gonna go to mesh and on the mesh you can actually change the uh, tracking points I'm not sure of a definitive number or anything like that. I just kind of mess around with it and I leave it on automatic for the time being. I'm gonna go over the track and you actually drop down to quality, change it to better. You know, go back up and hit track back and forward. Then you're gonna let DaVinci Resolve do its thing. Once it's done, you go into your media library and drag in your image and close that back off. You're gonna attach the green node from your image to the second green node on the surface tracker. And then the top blue node, attach it to the bottom blue node on your surface tracker. They'll give your logo or image a alpha background. You go over, click on results and you should get your little grid come up here. If you ever did any corner pinning, it's kind of the same thing. You basically wanna go in there. You wanna grab the little pin and you basically wanna manipulate the image to it fits into the mask. Now you can stretch the corner pins beyond the mask. It doesn't have to be exactly inside of it. You just, just kind of give you a rough idea of where it's gonna be placed. Like I said, it's not perfect. It still bends and folds a little bit. Like I said, maybe if I mask out the entire shirt, it'll probably bend and fold a little bit better, but this is a quick little demo. Now you notice it looks way too vibrant and too real. So it's gonna go down here to compositing. Go to apply mode or composite type mode and put it in overlay and drop down the opacity just a little bit, kind of give it like a little bit of a fade look. Now it looks more or less like it's actually a part of the actual shirt. If you got anything out of this video, make sure you hit that like button and subscribe to the channel. Hit the notification bell for anytime I post a new video. Also, you can click this video here for more music video effects, and I'll see you next time.